so very good afternoon to all the educators who are joining us welcome to the fourth session of artificial intelligence boot camp for educators we will be shortly starting we are just waiting other educators to join in Hello, very good afternoon to all the educators who are joining us. We will be shortly starting in few minutes. We are just waiting other educators to join in. So again, a very good afternoon to all the educators who have joined in into the session four of Artificial Intelligence Bootcamp for Educators. Also, like uh, we would be, like I would be like to I would like to tell you basically. So it was amazing to see your projects yesterday, and we are going to display some of the projects from all of you. I think till the time other educators are joining, I should give you uh, give them a short recap. Yeah. So I'll just share my screen back. Hello, am I audible? Yes, I wish you are audible. Yes, yeah, so I'll just share my screen. So yesterday we started with session three where we learned about the machine learning. Uh, but we, we also saw some of your wonderful projects. Okay, and then we started with the machine learning. So in machine learning, we understood that machine learning is none other than a subset of artificial intelligence, which basically focus on the exp like experience learning. Then we also learned about that, how exactly it is related to human learning process. So the basic human learning process were divided into four steps. So we understood that with an example yesterday, and then we related it with a real machine learning. So we were able to do that because we are like we are able to learn the things because we have certain senses, right? But machine don't have those senses. So that's why when we talk about machine learning, 
So basically, there are three major steps which happens here is like we give the input to the machines, then there is an algorithm working in behind which do the calculation parts, and after that comes up the output. Okay. We also saw the le machine learning life cycle, and we also did a hands-on 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 activity on this. So here you can see there were four steps where we just first gathered the data, then we trained the data into the teachable machine, then we calculated that uh, like we just tested the data on the preview section. Once we were satisfied we exported that model right and then using a link we deployed that model into the pictoblog and we made a project of mass detector after that we also discussed the applications so where this can be very much used right so it uh, it can be very much used into the cat uh, the animal classifier fraud detection post detection so some of uh, the educators I saw in the feedback that they were asking what exactly is the post detection. So post detection is basically a technique where machine is able to detect the pose, right? So here you have to think that I was giving an image. That's why I was able to, uh, like I was able to classify with the different images. So if I want to make my machine learn about the poses, then in that case, I have to train my model that is teachable machine model with the pose and that is very much very easy and we want you to explore that into teachable machine and bring the model link to the picto blocks and uh, complete the project. We also saw that it can be used in the healthcare and it can be used for the purpose of detecting pneumonia okay with the x-ray of the patients it is used in recognitions also recommendation system. So you might have been seeing uh, some of the things in YouTube or in Netflix that the things what you lo love to see automatically come in front of the screen, right? So these things happens due to the machine learning, okay? And uh, it is called as a recommendation system where the machine automatically recommends you certain type of movies, the books or the videos on the basis of how the uh, which type of videos you are watching so after that we also made an um, model into the teachable machine and we uh, like worked on the picto blog so i'll just stop my share here and i would again like to welcome all the educators from around the world for joining us on the fourth day of the artificial intelligence bootcamp for educators I'll just share my screen back. <laughs> so we will be shortly starting uh, by all educators. We are just waiting for other educators to join us.
Yes, Ayush, we can, I yeah. think we can start. So you can just. Uh, okay, so I would just uh, again welcome all the educators from around the world to the fourth session of Artificial Intelligence Bootcamp for Educators. So today, basically, you already know that we are going to learn about uh, natural language processing, some how exactly we are processing the language on which we are talking and machine is able to understand that and then it is able to perform certain activity. So I would just request uh, Mr. Pankaj to please start and let us know about the today's uh, session. Yeah, so uh, welcome. Uh, I will just do the screen share. So welcome back uh, to the uh, to the fourth session of artificial intelligence uh, for educator bootcamp, and we are very excited to go into the fourth session of the artificial intelligence bootcamp. And uh, we are very uh, great, uh, like we are very we are feeling very great to see the response that is coming from uh, the participants as well. So we are uh, we are very excited, and uh, let's go ahead and see what's inside the fourth session of the bootcamp. So uh, this is just a reminder, all of you, most of you have already done this particular bit. So uh, if you haven't joined the Telegram group, you can uh, join the Telegram group from uh, like uh, using this link. Uh, we, we are keeping update, uh, adding all the updates here, there, and we are also solving the doubts as well. And if you haven't uh, installed or uh, downloaded and installed PictoBlocks, you can do that uh, uh, that thing as well because uh, it's very important that you have uh, PictoBlocks installed in your devices so that you are uh, like able to complete the assignments uh, and uh, also practice the concept that we are uh, like teaching to you as well. And uh, I am uh, like. Uh, Last uh, last session also we have shared with you that we have a PictoBlocks community on Facebook. So we want uh, all of you to join in that particular uh, community. Uh, the link of the community would be in the chat. Ayush is sharing uh, that uh, uh, the link as well. So we would request all uh, all the educators to join there. We keep on update uh, like we have all the updates coming on in long term basis, like not just for this bootcamp but uh, for our future programs as well. And there are a lot of educators who uh, and students as well who come up with a very good projects. They share their projects there, and we discuss about the different opportunities, the uh, possibilities about the projects uh, as well in the community. So uh, I would request uh, all the educators to join uh, uh, join us on the PictoBlocks community as well, because that is something which we are very much focusing on in growing the community and uh, uh, getting this uh, uh, culture uh, ahead. Uh, as well so we are very fo focused towards artificial intelligence and robotics so if you are uh, like going to work on those particular things with students i think you should join the pictoblocks community group so coming to the project that you have submitted from for like uh, a lot of educators have submitted the project uh, and uh, these are the projects uh, some of the projects uh, submitted by the educators and as you can see, all uh, like most of them are very excited and happy as well. So uh, very good. Uh, like uh, like I congratulate all the educators who have submitted the assignments. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's great to see the response that are coming uh, here as well. Some educators uh, uh, have uh, put uh, like uh, gone one step ahead, uh, and they have uh, created their own custom models as well in PictoBlocks, and then created projects around it. So, like uh, as you can see, there are uh, there are models which classify the grapes, uh, like uh, the the plant, the fruits. There are models who uh, which classify the like uh, whether you are uh, like wearing the glasses or not. So. There is a lot of uh, things that you can do with PictoBlocks in machine learning. And uh, this is the thing that uh, we've also wanted uh, most of you to try as well. And I just want to show some of the projects that, uh, uh, that were created by the educators.
like it's uh, it's a very innovative project that ivanser has created uh, with uh, machine learning uh, getting like uh, analyzing the uh, the posture and then uh, do like uh, classifying the posture and uh, communicating with uh, like uh, uh, like who you know, for people who cannot speak as well so it's a very good application that ivanser has created uh, yeah coming to next project Hello from Croatia. I didn't introduce myself very well in previous uh, videos, so I'm going to tell you that my name is Kristina. I come from Croatia and I'm a school teacher in primary school. I teach uh, students computer science and coding uh, from the age of six to the age of 14. Uh, I'm also a mother of a six year boy who adores toys and cars so i made uh, this project extra project for today assignment uh, where i use machine learning uh, which will help me to recognize cars so here how it works Hello, I'm your personal assistant and I will help you recognize your child cars because I know it is hard for you to test me. So, let's go. Ah, great. I'm gonna just do this, okay. Great. Here it comes. Lamborghini. So as, as you have already seen the projects shared by the educators and uh, you uh, the people who have uh, joined the Telegram group, the, they're also uh, like uh, educators are uh, putting up the new uh, the project that they are creating as well. So it's uh, like machine learning is a very versatile, uh, uh, like versatile and you can create a lot of applications using machine learning. And this, these are the few applications that uh, uh, the custom application that uh, was created by the educators. And uh, uh, the so so imagine if you give this tool to students, what, how how would they respond to it? And uh, like thinking about is uh, it is uh, it is also very uh, like a very uh, like. Um, excite us uh, that uh, okay so if students get this tool they would be doing a lot more they would uh, get more creative and they would also experiment a lot using these tools as well so yeah uh, just get uh, let me set the screen yeah so uh, so coming to the uh, like the next part so all of you already know the, what are the things that are on this uh, like uh, are at stake so we have uh, like uh, we have been uh, like giving you assignments and uh, till now we have given you three assignments to complete and the fourth assignment uh, we will be giving you today and on completion of all the four assignments successfully we will be giving you the certificate and the batch of uh, uh, Stempedia certified artificial intelligence educator as well and uh, the people who are submitting the uh, submitting the projects uh, or the assignments on time which is uh, like before 2nd of july till 4 uh, pm ist like it will be one hour from now tomorrow so at this particular time the, they will be considered for the uh, for the certification and for the batches and uh, for uh, like and top seven performers, uh, we will be going over all the videos. Top seven performers would also get uh, the uh, the uh, the opportunity to have uh, the artificial intelligence kit with them as well. So we will be giving uh, uh, seven uh, educators the AI and robotics kit to, to them, uh, on which uh, they can do more than thirty activities and they can explore the world of. Uh, AI with robotics and uh, those parts. So it's very important that you uh, submit your assignments on time, and uh, all the links you are, you can find in the in the chat. 
and uh, we will be also uh, giving the fourth assignment today so we will be telling you about that uh, that particular part as well and uh, uh, we expect that uh, uh, you It and uh, we are also uh, and we don't have any issue uh, in uh, giving you the certificates as well. So please uh, submit all four assignments by tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't submitted uh, the previous assignments, then you can also submit it uh, by uh, this particular time, uh, which is second July 2021 till 4 p.m. IST. Uh, the link of the assignments uh, you will get into the mail as well, and you can also get it from the chat. Okay, so and uh, people who have uh, submitted the uh, like wrong link uh, uh, into their assignments, uh, they have to submit the assignments again. Uh, we will be uh, notifying uh, the people who have submitted the wrong link uh, as well so that you get a fair chance to resubmit the assignment. And we will be looking forward uh, to uh, forward to all the submissions as well. So, yes. Now, uh, coming to the next, uh, like uh, coming to the part now, uh, which is uh, the natural language processing. So today we will be talking about natural language processing, and uh, natural language processing is something which we are actually using a lot. Uh, if you see Alexa, then Alexa uses uh, natural language processing uh, at the uh, like at the back end. Okay, so what it uh, what it does is uh, like uh, if I just tell you about uh, natural language processing, uh, so I am speaking something, okay, and you are able to understand what I am speaking and able to uh, like tell what to do. Uh, just a second. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the delay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so uh, when 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 you are like. Currently, I am speaking with you. I am telling you some, uh, some uh, something, and then you are able to understand it. Uh, you are able to understand the language that I am speaking with, which is uh, which is English. You are able to make sense what I am speaking of, and the uh, this particular part is something which uh, comes under the uh, the the domain of natural language processing. How we can make computer understand uh, the the context from the speech. And uh, uh, put that context uh, context into uh, uh, actions as well. Okay, so let us go over and see it in more details. So, so first, I will talk about uh, how human language work. Okay, so we as a human, if you see, like, if you have, uh, if you have to learn a new language, how would you do? Okay, so you start off with uh, learning about the uh, each and every word. Okay, you uh, you start with characters and then you start with the word and then you put down the words in uh, put down the words uh, together in order to make sentences. And uh, now what you try is with the meaning of each and every word, you put down the sentences and you make uh, you try to make sense out of it. Okay. So if I say a sentence, then what you can do, uh, what you do is you break down the sentence into the word and you make out the sense out of it. So, so for us, uh, because we are very intelligent, we, our brain is uh, very, very uh, intelligent, uh, like uh, is well programmed or well trained to it, do it. Uh, like we are, uh, we have that uh, thing in us, the human intelligence. We are able to understand it very easily. But for computers, it's very hard to do. Okay. Uh, computer understand only zeros and ones. Okay, it's very hard for a computer to uh, understand beyond uh, a certain limit. So what we have to do is we have to simplify all the uh, all the things, and we have to simplify all the uh, these long sentences into a, a computer understandable form as well. Okay, so if uh, so, uh, this also what we do is we uh, we try to break down the natural language processing. Uh, similar to how human would process a, a, a sentence. Okay, so if I say a sentence, my name is Pankaj, suppose, uh, or or maybe uh, like we, in order to simplify it, 
there can be a positive uh, intent like uh, today is my birthday suppose something is like this come or uh, today i am sad okay so these are the two uh, two sentences uh, which are very drastic to each other so which is like uh, one is exciting one is uh, like uh, sad and those kind of things so so how does a computer make the sense out of it okay so now uh, if if you see uh, today is my birthday is something uh, which involves a word birthday which is associated with a positive intent okay what we try to do is we see uh, we uh, teach the computer we give the computer hundreds of uh, sentences and we train the computer that if these sentences are coming in this particular like uh, if these words are coming in the uh, in 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 some particular uh, se uh, sequence then they are towards positive intent okay and uh, in the computer uh, like if some particular words are coming in the uh, like uh, uh, coming in in the uh, bad intent uh, negative intent type then those words are associated with negative intent so here birthday is something which is a positive intent so what the computer will do is computer will uh, search for the words which are towards the positive intent the computer will search towards the word which are for negative intent and uh, what it will do is it will analyze the whole uh, sentence and it will try to find out what are the positive intent how many are the positive intent uh, based uh, words and how many are negative and that's how computer what it does is uh, using the algorithm it figures out uh, the uh, it figure out uh, what uh, like uh, the pos the positive and the negative intent of uh, of the sentence and it uh, gives us the uh, uh, like gives us the final result so if i say my uh, today is my birthday it would give me a positive intent okay and uh, uh, if if uh, if i say i am sad then it will give give me negative intent so this is one of the process that you can do for uh, associating with a positive or a negative uh, intent but when you try to uh, like when you try to uh, uh, what i would say extend this particular example what you can do is you are basically categorizing some uh, some uh, some words that are coming in some sequence into categories okay so let me give you an example if i have uh, if you see alexa okay if i want my alexa to turn off or to turn on the light what you will do you would be able to uh, you, what what you would do is you would uh, say alexa alexa i am feeling sleepy please turn on the turn off the light okay so this is the sentence that you have given to alexa but alexa haven't uh, like uh, gone through and understand all the concept uh, like all, all uh, like uh, does not understand all, all the whole word word so what it does it using the previous past experience it tries to find out uh, if the sentence is more towards light on or it's more towards light off okay and with that particular decision making or classification we try to do uh, the computer try to identify whether it has to uh, make the lights on or off and this is something which comes as a part of natural language processing okay so basically in natural language processing we try to uh, classify the sentences into uh, into some uh, classes which can be like lights on lights off fan on fan off it can be uh, other things as well like a positive intent negative intent all those things comes under the natural language processing so here the ai is actually working on the computer uh, like uh, into the language part which is uh, like uh, how we speak and those particular part so so what i will do is uh, okay so uh, in the uh, so in picto blocks we have an uh, uh, we have a uh, uh, we have a, a, an extension which is natural language processing but this natural language processing is only available in the uh, in the desktop uh, software okay it's not available in the web application and in the uh, it's not available in uh, the other uh, uh, I, android or uh, ios application right now so for this particular session we will be doing the activity of speech recognition okay so let me tell you about speech recognition first and then we will uh, go over the activity and we will uh, make a uh, make a project on uh, uh, on using speech recognition and then i will show you uh, the uh, the things about the uh, some demos of natural language processing as well so 
in order to start, I will uh, share my PictoBlock screen first. I hope you are able to see the screen. So this PictoBlocks project is uh, is something uh, like uh, I have created the whole background of it. So you have all the costumes and all those things created already. So today what we will be doing is you will be starting uh, the uh, class. Uh, you, you will be starting the session from this particular part where you have all the sprites available to you. And then uh, what you are doing is you are, uh, uh, we, what we will be doing is we will be adding some uh, like, uh, uh, speech recognition part into the project. So we will be focusing on the concept for uh, concept in this. So uh, we will avoid all the uh, the part of uh, like uh, getting the costume and all those things. So we can just directly jump on to the part where, which is important, which is uh, how the speech recognition works in PictoBlock. So that would be the part which we would be focusing more on. So I have put down the project uh, uh, project uh, link uh, into the chat box. So uh, if you you can also download the project uh, from the chat box. So the first uh, the first step that you have to do is you have to open the file that I have shared with you on to the chat. So Ayush, uh, can you uh, just share the files again uh, into the chat? Yeah. I hope my screen is uh, pretty visible to you. Yeah, it's visible. Or I can zoom in more. Uh, I will just check it. OK, I have a little bit. Uh, and maybe over uh, Zoom dates, okay. Yeah. Okay, so so now you can see uh, the part here. I will just make the uh, stage a little bit smaller so that uh, we are able to see the code. Okay, now let's uh, let's go over and check what all things are uh, here. Uh, here. So what we have is we have all the stage set. So the, uh, so the scenario here is, uh, here we have a stage where we are, uh, we, we where there is a girl where, uh, with name Abby, and uh, Abby is in home, and uh, she is actually talking to a personal assist, uh, like uh, something like Alexa, uh, talking to Alexa. Uh, she would talk to Alexa, and uh, uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, give her uh, the instruction whether to turn on the fan or to turn off the fan. And you know whether to turn on the light or not. So there is a lamp here, and then there is a fan also here. So the script of the fan and the lamp is already written. So we don't have to actually write the script of uh, the fan and the lamp. Uh, we will be using the pre-built uh, uh, script that uh, that we have created already. So Ayush, uh, keep the uh, project link uh, pinned into the chat box so, so that everyone can get the project uh, link uh, as well. So this is the starting point that we are having. Now let's come to the objective. So our objective here would be to, uh, so Abby would ask us whether to turn on the light or not. Okay, so Abby would uh, ask us, uh, uh, what do we, uh, what do you want to do? Okay, and then we, using speech recognition, we will be telling to Abby the, uh, the intent that we have. Okay, so I can say uh, fans on, uh, or I can say lights on. Okay, so if these kind of intents are I am giving to Abby, Abby will turn on the fan, or turn on the light, or turn off the fan, or turn off the light according to whatever instruction that I am giving. So we are making a voice uh, based as a assistant system where we are giving the instruction uh, using our voice. Okay, and this is something which we will be doing. Uh, in the uh, in this uh, particular project. So uh, before going to the speech recognition part, I would just tell you about the concept of speech recognition. So speech recognition is something which all of you have uh, must uh, must have seen the uh, seen whenever you install uh, your Windows, you get Cortana, you have Alexa, you have Siri. A lot of uh, uh, speech recognition based applications are there in the thing, and uh, 
yeah so lamp sprite is also there so you can get uh, the lamp sprite here yeah. so so a lot of speech recognition uh, recognition based devices are there so what they do is they will be getting uh, they will be getting uh, a lot of uh, uh, they they what they do they listen to you first then they go over the recogn uh, they they have a algorithm in order to break the whole sentence into different part get the syllables like uh, a b c d and then join the things to get uh, to make sense uh, the uh, sensible words and then the sensible sentence so it's a very uh, very very uh, like uh, good uh, how to create uh, like speech to text so 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 it's a process where the computer first find the the characters then it uh, form the words and then it form the sentences so these uh, speech recognition based devices are a lot into the uh, into the market and we will be creating a similar uh, similar uh, device in the picto blocks uh, today so in order to get this uh, to uh, to start of the application the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to extension my uh, uh, add extension you can see the add extension uh, button here click on add extension and get the artificial intelligence extension uh, from the library so you can see the artificial intelligence extension here you just have to click the artificial intelligence extension and it will come come to that so so the speech recognition is actually available in artificial intelligence so you have to add the artificial intelligence extension in order to uh, go uh, see see this thing so when when you get the artificial intelligence extension you would be able to uh, see the blocks of artificial you have already used it in uh, image features and those part so uh, i won't go uh, to that part again and again but in this uh, uh, when you see the blocks then you would be finding a block which says recognize speech for 2 seconds in english it says okay so it's uh, it's basically using the speech uh, you uh, re like recognize the speech it first record the whole speech and then recognize uh, uh, convert the speech into text so this thing uh, it uh, uh, it uh, do uh, like we perform this particular task uh, to get the text from the speech so what you can do is there are two parameters here so so as you can see here we the parameter that we have is uh, the uh, the length of the uh, of the recording that we want to do so it can be 2 second 5 second uh, 10 seconds i would just put it as a 5 second recording and uh, then you can also select the language in which you want to uh, convert okay so there are a lot of languages uh, in which uh, you can convert the speech so you have uh, like arabic english hindi all the language gujarati a lot of languages are also also there so what i can do is i can just click uh, on the like english and uh, i would just try this uh, block running this block and uh, see what the result is okay so when i click on this hello my name is pankaj hello yeah now now the recognition window is coming and you can see that uh, my or video would also come so it took uh, took some time for the first time so i would just uh, yeah and uh, you can see the 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 uh, it's getting this uh, particular part as well so where the speech is being recorded so i will just try it again hello my name is pankaj so what is uh, it has done is it's recorded it has recognized the speech and whenever it uh, stops glowing it has recognized the speech and now we can move on to the part where uh, we uh, part where we can use the text from the speech okay so as you can see here we have the block uh, block which says uh, like we have recognized the thing and if you just go in the uh, in the like extension uh scroll down then you will be finding uh, speech recognition and then the block is speech recognition result so this particular block actually gives us the result of the speech recognition that we are doing and if i just click on it okay so it has uh, said hello my name is andre i can just try it once again hello my name is pankaj
so so pankaj is not a very uh, like a na- uh, pankaj name is not very uh, common in english so that's why it has try to make a word which is uh, available in english so that's why it's it's saying uh, this so so it's it's do on uh, the speech very well you are able to get the speech uh, uh, converted to text so this was the first part that we wanted to do so we wanted to have uh, a speech recognition created for us uh, which can uh, just uh, like uh, recognize the speech and uh, then uh, tell us the, the what the uh, what the like uh, what we have said okay so i will just test it out with uh, one more uh, like uh, one more uh, thing uh, which would be uh, let's say uh, i want to turn on the light lights on it says lights on okay i can also uh, try lights off it says lights off i can also do a lot of things which can be like uh, converting to hindi hello मेरा नाम पंकज है सो इट वुड कन्वर्ट इन हिंदी एंड सो सो इट वर्क्स वेरी वेल इन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस एज वेल यू कैन ट्राई टू डू इट एंड इफ यू आर या सो सो यू कैन डू इट इन एंड ट्राई टू डू इट इन डिफरेंट लैंग्वेजेस एज वेल सो वी विल स्टिक टू इंग्लिश एंड वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विद प्रोग्राम हियर so i will just uh, close the recognition window and uh, as you can see i have what i have is uh, i have the code written for so let's go over and see what are the codes that is written for lamp and fan okay i uh, ayush you can just put the uh, link of the file again so that everyone has the file and they are able to do the activity so when you go over the code you can see that uh, in the for the code we have a lamp so for the lamp what we have is we have uh, uh, the, the code is very simple uh, when the green flag is pressed the lamp goes to a certain position it sets to a certain size and then it repeats this particular code which is says if the state of lamp is on then turn on the lamp if the state of lamp is off then uh, like off then uh, we have to turn it off so this is something which is like a, a, a a basic uh, 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 what i would say uh, basic conver- con- uh, like a uh, turn on the light or turn off the light so it's very basic so what we have is we have two variables created so fan state and lamp state so the lamp state actually uh, tells us uh, the state of lamp and the fan state tells us the state of fan there are other methods to execute it uh, as well but we will be sticking to this particular uh, this method of using variables in, uh, okay so we have uh, we will turn on the lamp or uh, lamp on or off using this script then the next script is uh, for the fan okay so the fan would actually rotate itself so it would some do something like this so if i j- just do go to uh, forever and just uh, get this thing here it will do something like this so so that we are getting the visual uh, of uh, okay the fan is actually rotating so this is something uh, a small animation that we have created uh, we have a different costumes in uh, of for the fan which is uh, allowing us to do uh, this particular part okay so now as you can see here uh, we have all the like we have to set the position of the fan we have to set the size of the fan and now when all the things are done in the forever we would be uh, doing if the state is on then uh, change the costume so we have an illusion of uh, fan turning or turning and then if the state is off then uh, what you can do is you can just uh, stick to one costume so that the fan is actually off okay so this is something which we will be doing uh, uh, for the fan and light so what we have done is we have the switches for fan and uh, for fan and uh, the light but we don't have the uh, have the person switching on the thing but we will be doing uh, all those thing with a voice uh, vo- voice activation so in order to start that part i would uh, just uh, do one thing which is uh, if you go to abby we have a small script written for the abby as well 
and abby script is basically setting up to the position so the the script is very e uh, very very easy uh, like straightforward it says the set the abby position to some uh, to somewhere in the stage and then set the size of abby as well so we can increase the size of abby and or uh, do all those particular part so this is just for uh, uh, for uh, making the scene uh, very pretty okay so this uh, so the file that you have got is the basic setup for the project that we will be creating today okay now the next part that we have to go over is we, we what we can do is we can uh, whenever we are starting the program we will first do the part of recognizing the uh, speech for the uh, for the particular time so what i will do is i will uh, get the recognition window here and i will just click uh, get this particular block here okay so what is happening when green flag is clicked recognize the speech for 5 seconds so the re speech recognition would be uh, would have happened and you what you are getting is you uh, you will getting uh, you will be getting the result now what you have to do is based on the speech recognition result we have to make decisions and these are the decisions that we have to uh, that that will act as a person switching on off fan and uh, switching on or off the lights so what we will do is we will uh, start off with the first part which will be switching on or off the lights okay so i would just go to uh, so uh, i think uh, it would be very easy for us to do because uh, uh, in order to turn on the turn on or turn off the light we will have uh, the uh, we will have th these things just a second let me zoom a little bit is my screen visible very clearly yeah yeah not visible yeah okay okay are you sure you can share the file link in the chat as well and uh, and uh, for people uh, for uh, if you are not able to uh, go uh, like make the project right now you can try it afterwards as well so it, that won't be an issue and uh, just to just to uh, uh, take a quick feedback uh, if uh, have you all understood the the concept discussed till now if you are facing any problems uh, in the extension or those particular part you can ask in the chat and uh, ayush will uh, be helping you out in the chat as well yeah i think most of you are understanding if you are not able to understand some particular part you can ask into the chat or you can go over and see the recording as well so you will get the recording onto the youtube channel yeah so coming to the part next part now we have to make decision based on the speech recognition okay and here because we are uh, you are uh, like we are uh, using uh, text as a uh, text we will be use uh, we will be using some uh, operators from here okay so what i will do is i will just get one operator which is contains okay currently we are not implementing nlp into the project i will give you demos of uh, how you can implement uh, nlp as well natural language processing into the project as well in order to make it more uh, easy for uh, people to give various command currently i am focusing on uh, speech well, once i get the speech recognition result how i can uh, turn on the lights or off uh, turn off the lights so the first objective is to control the light so what i can do is i can just uh, go here and i can see that okay if the speech recognition result contain off on okay so so let me just try so lights on so my speech recognition result is actually lights on light on and uh, does that uh, contain on yeah it's contain on so if this particular thing is happening so what i will do is i will just go to control and uh, i will get a block which is this uh, block which is if then and uh, if the light uh, if it contains on i will just 
what i will do i will go to variable and just change the lamp state so i can just set the lamp state i will get get this block here i will just get the lamp state to on so so if you remember uh, if uh, in the lamp we had if the lamp state is on then the light would turn on so here also uh, what i have to do if the if the speech recognition result contains on then set the lamp to on so if i i will do this particular thing and then i will also create uh, like what i can do is i can just duplicate this particular part and i can see if the speech recognition result contains off i will set the lamp state to off okay so this is a very very easy if statement uh, like a conditional statement so if the speech recognition result is on then uh, contains on then i will turn on the lamp if it's off then i will turns on turn on the uh, lamp turn off the lamp okay what i will do is i will check the thing uh, uh, check the part that we have implemented here as well so let's start up with lights on now you have seen that uh, the light turned on and uh, lights off okay for lights off what did i get oh okay it got light on lights off yeah so the lights off came and then light uh, turned off as well so this is a very very uh, simple conditional statement that we are doing and uh, there is one particular thing that you would uh, see uh, here is uh, what you have basically what we are doing is we are hard coding it okay once the speech recognition result has come but if you are using natural language processing extension and create a classifier of your own then you don't have to do it you can actually create class and then uh, do uh, the natural language processing based uh, classifier use the classifier to uh uh see uh, whether to turn on or turn off the light as well so this is a uh, uh, what i would say a part where uh, we uh, we are uh, we are focusing more on the uh, speech recognition rather than the uh, the natural language processing i would show some demos about that as well yeah so as you can see here we have uh, implemented the thing for the uh, for uh, uh, for the light but if i want to do it for the lamp as well Uh, for the fan as well then you would think that we would require some modifications here the first modification is if i want to have the turn uh, if i have to turn on or off the fan then i would say again on or off okay so it won't work in a, in this particular manner like on is on for both fan and uh, lamp okay so what i can do is i can add a conditional statement which can actually uh, like uh, which which can actually be uh, first seeing whether the uh, the whether the speech is actually meant for the lamp or uh, it is meant for the fan so first we can put the focus there so what i can do is on top of uh, the uh, both uh, conditional statements i can put this particular statement like if so first i will check whether whether the speech recognition contains light okay and if the speech recognition contains light then i will change the lamp state okay so as you can see here uh, what i am doing is something uh, for the uh, uh, something contains for the lamp uh, for the lamp uh, for the light actually so as you can see here uh, what we have done first we will check whether the speech recognition result contain light if it contains light then we will change the state of light otherwise we will not change the state of light okay 
so if if you uh, if you are finding difficulty on getting this operator block you can just click on the operators and get uh, the uh, contains block from here it basically uh, checks whether the uh, the first input has the second input or not so it ha it says true if it has if uh, like i say b it says false so so it's a very easy to understand block so now what i will do is i will just test this program once so that uh, i am very sure that uh, uh, i should be sure that uh, the program would work so i would just go here i would just start the program lights on yeah the lights are on lights off lights are off okay so on uh, so we have to also specify we whether we are turning on the lights or not or turning off the lights or not so this is something that we have to specify now if you want to implement it uh, for the fan okay what you would you do you would basically have to create the whole program but specific for the fan and there is only one part that you have to change uh, like uh, three parts where you have to change so what i will do is i will go uh, i will just duplicate the whole uh, so i will duplicate this particular section i want to duplicate the whole section because uh, the whole section would be uh, so the previous section was created for the light the next section would be created for the fan so once i create this uh, like duplicate whole section and put it below the if statement you don't have to put it inside but you have to put it below so it's very important that you understand the concept of uh, whether to put inside or the outside of the uh, loops so you have to put it outside because this is a completely different statement okay so if the speech recognition result contains fan this is first change then i would change the lamp uh, the fan state to on and the fan state to off in these particular po positions okay so what we are what we have done here so maybe i should yeah just uh, give me second i will try to get all the things in one space here yeah i think uh, uh, some of you might be able to see uh, this particular part so uh, it's basically uh, what you have is you test it for light if it's contain light or not then you on test it for on off and then do it for fan as well so let's uh, see the result uh, the, of the project that we have created fan on yeah the fan has started turning turn off the fan oh sorry turn off the fan okay so turn off the fan okay so in this case we haven't got the result that we wanted so we wanted the fan to be off but it's still on so there is a uh, there is something which we have to understand so if we are finding out difficulty in getting the right result we have to focus on the debugging part as well it's very important in terms of uh, uh, getting yourself prepped for the uh, for the pro in the project making process you have to debug a lot of things as well so what i will do is i will just make the screen uh, bigger just to show you uh, how to find the problems of uh, problem here so i will just go to artificial intelligence and if you see the speech recognition block has a check mark here so when i click on the check mark it actually say uh, gives me the the what, what i am getting so it's written that turn off the time actually it hasn't haven't turned on the uh, like recognize the word fan properly so maybe i have to put uh, like say the word properly here so what i will do i will just go again here and i will just start uh, the the whole script turn off sorry so i have to start it again because i was already doing and then the recognition has happened already so 
turn off the fan turn off the fan oh so uh, let me try it again turn off the fan oh so let me fan off uh my accent is not working here okay i is uh i actually uh, like gone to the uk part so i will just try it again turn off the fan yeah so so it turned off the fan so so my accent is not uh, that uh, towards the uk english but more of towards the uh, us english so 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 yeah so uh, so that's why it was uh, not recognizing the 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 accent that i was having so yeah so so this is something which uh, like uh, you you would be uh, able to try it out uh, you can uh, like this is a small project that we created where we are shown uh, we have shown to you the power of speech recognition and then create something like uh, uh, lights on or lights off or fan on or fan, fan off type of things so if you if you are uh, like this is something which you can do it in uh, uh, more uh, like languages as well so you can make speech recognition in other languages as well now in in just uh, just in order to create add more things into it you can also make a, uh, abby say something uh, to you as well so i would like you to uh, show you one more block when i click on add extension i go to uh, the uh, extensions then you would have one extension which is speech to text so this actually is uh, something which is opposite of speech recognition okay so the opposite of speech recognition would be uh, would be something like this so it would speak hello hello are you are you able to uh, like uh, get the uh, yeah the uh, the voice from the computer hello yeah yeah we are able to hear that yeah so it says hello. hello so what you can do is you can make abby say something to you as well so hello what can i do for you you can say and then you start the speech recognition so just to just to show you how it works hello what can i do for you turn on the fan turn on the fan now the fan has started so 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 this is the project that we wanted to uh, we we wanted all of you to make and uh, yeah now coming to the natural language uh, language processing part i would show you some of the projects uh, that you uh, the extension of the project uh, with a video so before that uh, i would just ask question uh, have you understood the concept discussed no oh, it's great to it's great to see a uh, lot of response coming as yes so so yeah great great if you have any issues coming on uh, like if you are seeing null uh, then please check your uh, once uh, like you can check your internet maybe once and uh, maybe you can see your uh, credit as well if it's uh, uh, not working for you okay if you uh, if it's coming null please check the pictoblox credit as well and if you require more credits then you can uh, directly 
like send your request to support at the rate thestempedia.com we will be providing you more credits for doing and practicing other projects as well so if you are not able to get credit just mail it to support at the rate thestempedia we will uh, give you the redemption code uh, the new redemption codes as well so it's based on the requirement uh, that we are giving okay so now let's go ahead and uh, just see a video of uh, the uh, the natural language processing and uh, uh, yeah hello everyone i hope you all are doing well artificial intelligence is gaining popularity day by day and the most fascinating is natural language processing using which robots can understand the languages spoken by human not only understand but also feel the emotions behind it isn't it amazing in this video we are going to try our hands on on the latest nlp extension of pictoblox by making virtual doctor you just need to tell your symptoms and he will tell you what caught you and what you should do next along with the nlp extension there are a lot of new features added to the latest version of pictoblox if you haven't downloaded it yet you can download it from the link given in the description box below or the card above let's begin open pictoblox first of all let's add the doctor and the hospital sprite and set up the stage you can download these sprites from the link given in the description box once downloaded you can place them as per your choice or like the type we have placed here Next, add the NLP extension. NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. This is the area of AI concerned with the interaction between computers and humans in natural language. The aim of this extension is to help computers understand language as well as we do. Now, we need to train picture blocks to analyze the text and perform the corresponding actions. For training, we will add data of symptoms for three diseases that is COVID-19 malaria and diabetes one by one go to the my blocks palette and create a block named data for covid-19 to add data to the text classifier we need the nlp extension take an add class block and place it below the had block in place of text write the first symptom dry cough and write covid-19 as class let's add more symptoms to covid-19 class you can add as many as you may find Only thing you need to do is just duplicate the block and write the symptoms you want to add. Now, similarly, add data for the other two diseases. We'll add three symptoms for each. Now we need to train our text classifier. Create a block named training. Take the training had block and add a reset text classifier block below it. Add the data for COVID-19, data for malaria, and data for diabetes tag blocks one after the other. Add a train text classifier block. Next, let's begin to write the script to make the virtual doctor say the name of the disease we have after we tell him our symptoms. Add a when flag clicked had block. Drop the train data stack block below it. Let's make the doctor greet us. Add a say block. Write hello, welcome to the virtual hospital. Next, we'll want the doctors to ask the symptoms. Thus, from the sensing palette, add an ask and wait block. Write how are you feeling today? Please tell me your symptoms. Here is when we will write the symptoms and the doctor will tell us the remedies for the same. Place an if block into the scripting area. Add an equal to block from the operator's palette. Inside the first space of the equal to block, drop a get class of block. In the second space, write COVID nineteen. Inside the get class of block, drop an answer block from the sensing palette. This will check the symptoms you enter and if they match with covid class the doctor will say out the disease as covid-19 into the if arm place a c block and write you are infected with covid-19 now that we know the disease 
the doctor will say the remedy for the same. Place the say block from the looks palette and write remedies into it. If you need to write more remedies, you can use another say block too. Similarly, we will do malaria and diabetes. Duplicate the if block and make the changes respectively. With this, our script is complete. Press the green flag to start the script. Let's test and write the symptom as I am feeling breathless and have been experiencing fever. Yes, it got detected correctly. To escalate the project, instead of typing your symptoms, you can use speech recognition blocks to recognize your voice and then diagnose us. So this is all from my side. Now it's your turn to make this project. But don't forget to share this project with the Pictoblocks community on Facebook, which you can join from the link given in the description box below. If you like this project, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to yeah so so the video that you find uh, found was the app uh, was so it was there to show you the application of nlp we want like we we couldn't cover all the uh, like uh, we uh, because some because of some limitation not all of you would be able to do the nlp project that we so we have uh, covered the second part of it which was the speech recognition but uh, you are uh, like we have videos on youtube for the nlp as well you can go over there and practice those parts as well and uh, like uh, as you saw in the video uh, what you did was like what we did is uh, we trained the uh, trained the uh, like uh, natural language processing classifier or the text classifier on different st uh, different categories same thing you can do it here you can train the classifier to do a lot of things and then uh, whenever you are saying something uh, like uh, uh, it can uh, make the decisions accordingly uh, like using the classifier as well so i would go back to the slide and uh, just move ahead uh, in this session so yeah so you saw the project of uh, virtual doctor using nlp so uh, like you just have to train the classifier and then when you train the classifier and put the uh, like put the classifier into the test it will uh, show you the result of uh, the natural language processing now there are a lot of application of natural language processing that comes in because natural language processing allows us to give sentiments so you can uh, do a lot of surveys you can have a lot of chatbots created on the uh, on that you you uh, you can use nlp to shortlist uh, the uh, shortlist the candidates for hiring and record recruitment you can do it for auto search and auto correct uh, correcting the statements as well so so and email so email filtering is something which is very popular so all of you know like uh, you, uh, uh, there are email filters who put the uh, put the emails into spam okay or it puts into the inbox so these filters actually identify and go go for words and identify the words and the sequence of the words that are more spammy okay so it identifies or it it gets trained uh, on it and then once it finds those spammy mails it puts into the spam and then puts email into the inbox if it's uh, not the spam so spam is one of the major application of natural language processing and using nlp and speech recognition all alexa siri all of them works on that particular uh, part uh, part as you can see there is one more application that you can do with the hardware so what the application that we did for the uh, for the li uh, like uh, today on the lights on or lights off you can do it with the hardware and using the speech recognition natural language processing and the hardware interaction as well so i would just show you the project of uh, the same lights on and lights off happening on the uh, on the uh, on this uh, uh, hardware yeah what i want to study Oh, sorry the video was off i want to sleep
yeah so in this particular class if i like i i hope you you got the uh, you have heard the thing so i wish you were you able to hear the uh, the the command that was uh, that i was giving yeah yeah so we were able to see the complete working as well as your voice yeah and okay. you the- yeah so as you can see here we have created a classifier which classify uh, the things into lights on and lights off and here i specifically have not used the word on or off or lights or off so actually i have trained it into uh, uh, it to uh, get uh, get classify the sentences into sentiments of uh, whether i want to study or not or uh, whether my sentiments are towards uh, like uh, 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 towards whether the light should be on or off so i trained it uh, in that particular manner and when i speak uh, when i uh, use the natural language uh, like nlp model to classify this particular thing then uh, I, i can use it uh, for uh, something like this if i want to sleep the light should be off if i want to study the light should be on the same thing is happening here you are actually not specifying the ai whether you have on you are not actually hard coding it you are uh, creating a, a, a ai which classify and we uh, which uh, classify the whole sentence into different uh, segments whether it's uh, should, it should be light on or light off so these are the projects that you can also make using the hardware and uh, you can also do it in this uh, sprite and those particular part uh, user using natural language processing so uh nlp and speech recognition go hands on hand and uh, it is the part uh, which is being used in a lot of application and student loves it okay they they try to uh, they love to make a different kind of classifier they uh, they love to play with the speech recognition so this is also something which uh, the students get more excited about when we teach them into the classes yeah so now the next thing is uh now the next thing is the uh, the uh, project hub so uh, the activity for today is complete and i would request all of you to uh, uh, yeah so if your nlp is not opening then uh, like uh, you might not be using your software uh, so so you uh, the nlp is only available in uh, windows mac and linux uh, software which you download and install it from the and uh, from the website so it won't be available in the android or in the web version we are uh, making the compatibility with the android and the web version very soon so we uh, ayush you can put down the link of the project hub in the chat as well so uh, we have a very good project repository where we have more and more types of uh, uh, projects related to the ai application so uh, you can see the projects such as virtual doctor using nlp the face based uh, attendance system a lot of applications are already uh, available, like uh, we have created in the in our project hub so uh if you want to like uh, explore more projects and you want to explore more projects in terms of ai then please visit our project hub and do uh, and check out the different opportunities and the project that you can uh, do yeah and you can also subscribe to our uh, stempedia youtube channel and uh, we have a, uh, like uh, the project videos on our youtube channel being published very regularly we publish the ai based pro- tutorials and projects very regularly so if you if you can uh, like uh, if you want regular updates uh, on the videos then you can subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, also turn on the uh, uh, bell as well so that you are being notified about that uh, part so let's come to the assignment so today assignment is uh, for you is to make the project on the speech recognition so the project that we created for fan on and fan off uh, that is actually the project that you have to create you have to make uh, the video of uh, you uh, uh, telling the command and running the project and showing us uh, the different uh, uh, different uh, like uh, variations of it so like uh, you can uh, tr- uh, first thing is you you have to make the project that we have created and after that you can remix and um, add more things into the project and and uh, make the video of it 
and submit it, uh, submit the project in the assignment. So the assignment uh, link uh, you will be getting into the chat, and the, uh, we, I will also show the link into the uh, uh, assignment link as well. So it's very important that you submit the assignment as a form of video. So the only format that we are taking is a video format. Uh, so that we are able to see uh, uh, that you have actually uh, done the assignment, not uh, uh, like just uh, get get the file and then uh, put it uh, onto the assignment. We want to we want all the assignments to be genuine. So you have to record the assignment, uh, the video of the assignment, and upload the video either on YouTube or Google Drive or we uh, like we transfer or any any other uh, file sharing platform and share the file link with us. Okay, you don't have to upload the file, but you have to share the file link with us. You can upload the file into the uh, into YouTube and give it to us. So the uh, the file uh, the uh, you have to be particular about two things that uh, the file is uh, we are able to access the file. Okay, so uh, if you are uploading it into YouTube, then do not make the video private. If you make the video private and submit the link as the assignment, we won't be able to see it. So please. Uh, uh, uh please uh, submit a unlisted or a public video and the second uh, question uh, the, like uh, the second thing is if you are submitting the google drive link then in the google drive link please make sure that you have a public view access of the file so that we are able to see the assignment and uh, uh, like uh, grade it as well so we will be uh, yeah ayush can you just uh, put the uh, put the file, uh, the PictoBlocks file link for the uh, file link as well. Yes, Ayush has put down the link. Yeah. So the deadline of the assignment, uh, so you can see the submission form and uh, you will also get the submission form in the chat and the email ID, uh, email as well. So the submission form is uh, there. And uh, yeah, I will just go to the part uh, which is uh, very important. Uh, I think I missed that putting that slide there. Yeah. So the deadline of the assignment is uh, actually uh, 2nd of July. So uh, we might, uh, uh, like, we have the deadline till 4 p.m. IST. So uh, you have to submit the assignment before that, all the assignments before that, so that we are able to grade all the assignments uh, and uh, give, give out the certificates and the batches as well. If you have any questions related to PictoBlocks credit, related to any issues or doubts, then just put the questions into the Telegram group or email us to support at the rate thestempedia.com. We will be uh, like uh, giving you uh, like the proper support in order to make uh, may, uh, to get your projects done before the time as well. So please make sure that you submit the uh, or submit all the assignments. Uh, you have to submit all four assignments in order to get uh, the certificate and the batches and uh, uh, the uh, uh, and be eligible for uh, getting like uh, artificial intelligence kit. You have to uh, you have to actually submit the video link only uh, video uh, the link of the video project only. Okay, so you have to create a video of the project working, and then you have to submit the link of uh, the video. You don't have to submit the link of the project. We want the link of the uh, the video created by you uh, working on the project, and it has to be the same project has to be submitted. Uh, it won't be like uh, you. Uh, it won't be like uh, you are submitting the uh, the uh, third assignment project uh, everywhere. Okay, we want uh, you. You please. We will be uh, like uh, monitoring all the assignments. So please submit the assignments uh, properly. And uh, on completion of the assignment, we would be uh, like uh, uh, giving the certificate and uh, the uh, artificial intelligence kits to the educators as well, top seven educators as well. So this is about the deadline of the assignment. Now coming to. Uh, uh, like you will get the emails about all the uh, all the email uh, like uh, links on the email. So please make sure you have the assignment submitted on time. Uh, based on the based on the response from this uh, from uh, like if you have any concerns related to the deadline and those things, you can just uh, uh, contact us at the uh, contact us at 
education at the rate thesempedia.com and we can see the uh, see the case uh, if you have uh, any problems related to the deadline so we will take care about that part as well yeah so uh, so let us let me tell me uh, tell, let me tell you about the uh, the session on the 3rd of uh, july that we will be having so this this would be the last session that we will be having uh, on 3rd of uh, july uh, so 3rd of july 3 pm ist again we will be having the last session and this session is basically focused towards uh, the learning opportunities and the course material uh, and the uh, like educators material that uh, that you can have for the students so in the whole camp we have only covered four concept of artificial intelligence but uh, in that particular session we will be talking about more concepts more techniques and more application that you can do and uh, you would be able to uh, uh, like uh, perform uh, like you would be able to see the whole imp uh, how you can implement the program uh, on the the 3rd of july uh, session as well so it's a closing ceremony and we would uh, require, like it would be a compulsory attendance for all of you who are attending the camp and we would request you to come on to the uh, on 3rd of july in order to uh, like uh, get the updates about uh, the uh, uh, who won the prizes who uh, come, uh, like and we will also be providing the certificate and the badges as well we will be announcing the name of uh, all the people who have got the ass uh, assignments and the badges as well so yeah so so we will be doing uh, that uh, that part so uh, so this is something uh, which we wanted to tell you. We will be, uh, so there are two things <laughs> that you have to do it now. Like there is actually one thing that you have to do it now. Uh, go over the, uh, go over all the assignments, submit all the assignments uh, by the deadline so that you are able to get the certificates as well. So it's very important that you are able to do all the certifications and those part. Yes. And if you have any questions, you can join the Telegram group. Uh, I would be taking the doubts now. So there were a lot of doubts coming on onto the project. So we can take out some doubts. And uh, yeah, one doubt that I'm uh, getting is, is, uh, is any session tomorrow? So tomorrow is not, uh, tomorrow there is no session. Uh, you have to work on the project uh, tomorrow. We have uh, kept the tomorrow uh, uh, open for the project uh, making part. Uh, there would be a lot of you who have to submit all the four projects. So the, tomorrow will be a very busy day for all of you uh, in order to submit the project and uh, get the certificates as well. So we will be getting you all the things. Yeah. How can I get the AI recognition result? Uh, okay. So so I think uh, uh, the one question that uh, I was seeing was, uh, how to get this text to speech extension so one question was that so in order to get the text to speech extension you have to go to uh, add extension and then uh, here you would be able to find the extension in the bottom so it's uh, actually in the bottom of uh, the thing where you have text to speech so this text to speech is very uh, you can find it here and click here and you are able to get the text to speech you can also change the voice uh, if you want, you can change the voice to uh, other uh, people as well. So when you change it, hello, the 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 voice would change. So like this is something that you can explore. You can set the language as well. So if I just set language Hindi, hello. So so the accent is there, but if I say Namaste, it would say Namaste. So. So that is something that you can also explore. So you, uh, try exploring this uh, text-to-speech block as well. How to change the state of lamp? Okay. So in order to change the state of lamp, so how how we had it, uh, here is uh, the lamp state was actually uh, added into the variable. Okay. So the variable is actually lamp state. So uh, as you can see here on the variable, we have uh, the uh, the three two states which is fan state and lamp state. And you can see this uh, lamp state right now is off. If I just go over it and do the thing, it would say on. Okay. If you are getting null, then there would be two reasons for that. One reason would be either your internet is not correct 
but if you are attending the video as well and doing the same thing in the device then you have not uh, like this is this won't be a valid reason for you the second reason that you would be having is that your pictoblocks credit are exhausted so you uh, know if you are uh, if your pictoblocks credit is exhausted you can just see it from here uh, you can hover over the uh, the the uh, icon here and you can see the pictoblocks credit you have currently so if you want uh, more credits we will be providing you more credits uh, and we will be providing you uh, uh, credits on request so you have to mail us to support at the rate just empedia to get more credits uh, on that okay if you have uh, uh, like that we will be doing uh, uh, for uh, for you to uh, get complete the projects as well so yeah i would also like to like uh, ask you to please just show that how we can see the recognition results yes 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 one so the recognition result is actually uh, added in this particular block which is uh, the speech recognition result okay you can put the speech recognition result on the stage as well by just clicking on this uh, tick mark so if you just uh, see the tick mark and uh, maybe i can put this thing in the, so you can see artificial intelligence speech recognition result so it says whatever the value is inside it so the email id for getting more credit is support at the rate the stempedia.com ayush you can put the email id uh, yeah. i think a lot of you would require that so we will be uh, doing that okay how you can uh, so yeah so you can get the recognition result from here you can uh, just uh, see that uh, i can just get the block here and uh, you can uh, find out uh, when i when i click on it it gives me the result so turn on the fan the other uh, thing that uh, someone asked is how we can change the state of uh, the uh, fan so to change the state of the fan we are actually setting the variable uh, to some particular uh, state so we will set the fan state to on then the fan state would be on if we set it to off then fan state would be off you can you can see the fan state to, uh, turning off uh, when i click on there it's uh yeah if it's giving you null then please check the pictoblocks credit and uh, email it to us and we will be providing you more credits in order to do the assignments and the activities so we want all of you to uh, be the uh, be very aggressive towards assignment so we would be providing you support in terms of credits uh, that would be. and also one more exciting thing that uh, you would be get, uh, you will uh, the educators who get the uh, uh, certificate as well uh, what they would get is they would get 25000 credits uh, on completion uh, of all the assignments as well so we will be pro providing uh, each and every educator who completes the all the uh, completes all the assignment 25000 credits as well uh, when they complete all the assignments so that is also something which you will be getting uh, when you complete all the uh, assignments and uh, get the badge get the certificate that get the credit so there are a lot of things that you will be getting so after that you can uh, like uh, you 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 will be uh, like uh, you can practice more you can uh, develop the curriculum as well so all those things we will be providing you and we are here to support you uh, in uh, in terms of getting these things uh, out as well so uh, if you require any of uh, any help from us any uh, particular support related to the curriculum related to the course we would be uh, able to help you out Uh, also i would like to like give some of the answers asked by the educators so yeah. here some uh, educators want uh, said like they are not able to access the nlp how they are going to submit the assignment so today's assignment is basically nlp and speech recognition so if you want to explore the nlp part go and explore and make some assignment out of there although the educators who are using the smartphone they can make their uh, assignments using uh the speech recognition so if you are uh, able to make the things with the speech recognition just make it there is no problem and uh, one more question was like uh are we going to acknowledge send the acknowledgement list so yeah we will be in the acknowledgement list of the educators whose assignment have been uh, 
like accepted and if some there is some problems with some of the educators so we are going to share you the acknowledgement uh, acknowledgement list soon on, into the telegram group also like as uh, mentioned by mr pankaj that don't miss this opportunity on coming on the 3rd of july the next session because we have so many things on stake and we are going to have a wonderful ceremony on that day so we want you to not miss the opportunity to take all the grab up goodies everything also we would request you all to share your experience video on to the telegram so just share your experience with the boot camp with the picto blog show your love and share us on the uh, telegram group because we will be like combining all your experience and coming up with on the uh, ceremony day okay so please don't forget to share your personal videos of your ex personal experience videos with picto blogs and the boot camp yeah yeah so there is one doubt how to switch off the light while it's on it's taking time to switch does it happen like that or can you show us the execution part yeah so uh, so so the speech recognition is something which would take some time so if i just go here and uh, show you uh, i would just select abby so as you can see here uh, it's like uh, it's uh, if it's on if you want to turn it off then this is the condition that would turn it off so first uh, there should be the light word and then there should be off word in the thing and then it would stay, uh, turn off the light yeah so if you are not able to join the telegram then don't worry uh, you can also uh, look into the emails that we are sending all the update email and you can do it uh, uh, do that again so if i just have to show the execution i would just show hello what can i do for you turn on the light oh it turned off the fan okay just try and let me hello what can i do for you turn on the lights turn on the lights yeah i turned on the light so maybe you are not able to see it because of this variable yeah the lights are on and if i just um, hello what can i do for you turn off the lights hello what can i do for you lights off yeah the lights are off so if you want to get the fan speeds faster i guess uh, you have to uh, maybe delete some sprites or uh, reduce the wait time so you have already have the wait very slow so uh, like fan would be spinning at this particular speed only so maybe you can try it out with yourself and uh, see uh, if there is any other results yeah yeah you have to click on the green flag and then only uh, like say because all the script are starting when the green flag is clicked how can we get the uh, lamp and the sprite so if you want if you haven't got the lamp and the fan sprite it's because we have given you the uh, the uh, picto blocks file for, as a starting point uh, so you 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 will be getting uh, the uh, like uh, you can get the picto blocks file as the starting point uh, uh, from the link uh, ayush is sending on the uh, on the group yeah, on the chat any other questions if you have uh, just to give you a reminder you have to submit all the four assignments by tomorrow and uh, uh, yeah so yes so someone has suggested if we put the delay as 0.001 
so that might help it has like increased little bit yeah so tomorrow we don't have a class so if required we will we might do a doubt session class tomorrow if uh, some of the people like uh, if we find some uh, that uh, thing into the telegram group we might do a doubt session on zoom call or something like that but till now we haven't uh, do we do not have any class for tomorrow so if uh, if you think that uh, you require more support uh, in order to get some particular doubts clear we can do that so so let us know if you have more doubts uh, in the telegram group and we would be able to answer all the doubts there so tomorrow is no class you have to uh, do the assignments and complete the assignments on time for getting the certifications and the prizes as well yeah so i think we will be we will be closing the session now and uh, yeah once again i would just put down the uh, put up the ppt uh, for you to uh, access uh, the uh, yeah sorry 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 uh, yeah so so if you want to contact us you can uh, like if you have any support queries uh, mail us to support at the rate thesampedia.com if you have anything related to uh, some uh, business uh, inquiries you can do at bd@thesampedia.com if you have any query related to uh, the deadlines education policy or those kind of thing then you can email us to education@thesampedia we will be taking out all the things uh, we uh, we read all the emails very uh, regularly and uh, we would be answering all our doubts and queries uh, there as well so thank you everyone for attending the session it was a great session for uh, great session where you learned about uh, speech recognition natural language processing and uh, if you have any questions then uh, put your questions in telegram group show your uh, love complete your assignments or uh, and also please make a experience video about the boot camp uh, and share it in the on the telegram group so that we are uh, we we get motivated to do more and more uh, of these kind of camps for educators and for students in the future as well so i am very excited to uh, see all all of you in the closing ceremony that would be happening on 3rd of uh, uh, like 3rd of july at the same time like 3 pm ist So thank you everyone for attending the session and thank you very much. Thank you everyone for joining this boot camp and we would love to see you all back again on the 3rd of July and we are just waiting to have your wonderful project videos and the experience videos. We will be sharing you all the uh, resources in your emails as well as on the Telegram group. So thanks again. Thank you everyone.